What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And moving on to another question dealing with rational expressions. So we're told that the simplified solution to the multiplication of two rational expressions is below. This is the solution over here. And we have to find the original expression where all trinomials are in the form ax squared plus bx plus c in that standard expanded form. So notice that this here is the solution. And then we have these restrictions. X can't be negative four, negative two over three, positive two, and then positive six. And so we're told that it's going to be, the original question is basically two rational expressions that are multiplying by each other, right? And then we end up with these restrictions. So usually, we're getting a question and then we get to this and then we find the restrictions. In this case, we're given the solution and the restrictions and we have to go backwards and find what the original question is. So notice first with these restrictions, there are four restrictions here, but notice that there are only two factors in the denominator for the simplified solution. And so notice that the restriction X can't be negative four it's right here from this factor. And then x can't be two, it's from this factor over here. But notice that there are two other restrictions. x can't be negative two over three, x can't be six. So what does that mean? Well, that means that those restrictions came from factors that, was, that were in the denominator before, but then they ended up getting canceled out. So if we expand this fraction, x can't be negative two over three, from what kind of factor would that come from? Well, that would come from the factor three x plus two. But notice it's not here anymore in the denominator, meaning that that factor was also in the numerator before, right? They got canceled out within the process, hence why they weren't there. But even if they got canceled out, remember the restrictions are, um, we get the restrictions before we cancel stuff out, right? So this factor was canceled out and then notice that the other restriction, x can't be six, that must have come from another factor that was canceled out like that, right? this ended up being canceled out with that. And so we ended up having this as the simplified solution, but the restriction still came from those factors that were in the denominator before we simplified, before we canceled out. And so really all we have to do is just create two rational expressions here where this numerator is gonna be like that, this denominator is gonna be like that, this numerator is gonna be like that, and then this denominator is gonna be like that. Because notice that we have um, four factors in total in both the numerator and the denominator. So that means there's gonna be like two factors here, two factors here, two factors here, two factors here. And so the way we mix and match them it doesn't really matter. So there's actually a number of different solutions that can be, um, there's a number of different solutions that, or number of different original expressions that can come about from this. Cause you can mix and match these whichever way you want. So you could even do X minus six times three X plus two over here and then x minus one times x plus three, or you could do like x minus six over here and then x minus one over here and then three x plus two over here, x plus three over here. Doesn't really matter, right? Hence why there's multiple ways to organize it. So me personally, let's, um, let's do what I mentioned. So let's do x minus six, x minus one. Right, but that means that x minus six, actually it doesn't matter, the x minus six doesn't have to be here, it could also be here because when you're multiplying, right, things can cross out, like if we have an x minus six over here, things can cross out 
like that because we are multiplying here. So we actually don't even have to put the x minus 6 over here. We could put it over here as well. So you know what? Let's actually do that. So let's just cross these out as we go. So we got this, this, uh, the x minus 1 we got. Uh, let's put an x plus 4, the x plus 4 over here. Um, let's put the 3x plus 2 over here, and then the 3x plus 2 let's put up here. And then what's left? The x plus 3, and then the x minus 2. Again, you could have mixed and matched these in whichever way you wanted. This is the way that I went about it. And so let's just confirm here these are going to cancel out. And then these are going to cancel out. And we're going to be left with that x minus 1 times x plus 3 over x plus 4 times x minus 2. And those will be the restrictions. Now, what did they say? We can't leave the trinomials factored. They all have to be in this format. So what we would do is basically just expand these. Right? Usually what happens is we're given expanded uh, expressions and then we got to factor them. Well, now we're going backwards. So now we're at the factored step, right? We were at the simplified step. Then we got here to the factored step before things cancel out. And now we got to go back to the expanded step. Uh, step. So all of these are going to get expanded. So x minus 6 times x minus 1, if you FOIL that out, that would be what? x squared minus 7x plus 6 all over. Over here, we would have 3x squared. If we FOIL this out, we'll have 12x plus 2x. So that would be 14x. And then that would be 8, like that, right? This expands into that. And then we're going to be multiplying by this rational expression. So if we expand this, we'd end up with a 3x squared. Um, then we'll have, what, 9x plus 2x, which would give us 11x. And then we'll have plus 6. Uh, yeah, that looks correct to me. And then over here, we'll have x squared minus 8x plus 12, like that. So that's an example of an original question that if you got this question, if you simplified it as we've done in previous videos in this section, the solution would end up being this, and those would be the restrictions.